Hey. Hey, you. Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? Paris has some of the best street art in the entire world. Wild, right? Oh, you don't believe me? Here, let me show you. One of my absolute favorite things about living in Paris is walking around and seeing all the amazing street art. So here I'm going to highlight some of my favorite things to see around the city. One thing that I like to try to spot are these really cute yellow cats. They're always around and I decided to look them up. Although they had that fun QR code, I didn't get any results. So I just looked up yellow cat street art and voila, I found exactly what I wanted to know. So this graffiti art is called M. Chat or Mr. Cat and it's originally from France, but they're all over the world, usually seen on chimneys but we have so many in Paris, which makes it really fun. You can just look up anything you want to know and Wikipedia usually has some answers for you. One artist you will definitely see around the streets of Paris is Invader, a French urban artist who got their pseudonym based on the arcade game Space Invaders. He is most known for depicting iconic arcade game characters with mosaic tiles. Now, I would say a lot of these mosaic styles are not specifically invaders, but probably influenced by his work. You will find a lot of people and characters, as well as hearts and little crazy alien dudes. Overall, I think this mosaic style of street art is very cool, and you can see it everywhere in Paris. And it's not very common in the United States, so keep a lookout. One super cool thing about Paris street art is that not only is there really small things on every street corner, but there are also very big murals. In the 13th arrondissement in particular, there are a lot of big murals. Here are a few of my favorites. Around the 13th arrondissement, you might run into some street art that reminds you of children's book illustrations. This street art often depicts children playing by themselves or together, often wearing night helmets, a possible metaphor for being shielded from the world around them. Unfortunately, most of these pieces are labeled without any credit given for the art, but I did find one that had Ceph 2018 written next to it, so that could be our possible artist. Although 2018 may feel like a while ago, Seth also has examples of modern issues coming into his work, just like a lot of street art around Paris. Here is one example where a young girl is depicted holding a Ukrainian flag stepping on tanks, a symbol of all the children that are affected by this war. Like every form of art, social issues are a main subject in lots of the pieces. Here are some examples in Paris. These next few art installations are some of my favorites. They are some of the biggest around town and end up changing the whole dynamic of the places that they are showcasing. This one specifically is near my school. I pass by it every single day and it just livens up the whole corner and is gorgeous.
Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. So you will also see around the streets the decaying works that haven't been kept up and fall prey to the elements. These are just some examples of the cycle of life and death that these pieces go through. Overall, I would say Paris street art brings something very exciting to the city. Street art brings life and energy to every corner of the city. Something for every person to enjoy, young or old. Although Paris is known for the many different types of art and artists that have lived here, street art gives another perspective to the word art and who gets to produce it. Opening the door to new young artists and people who want to express themselves, whether they think they're an artist or not. This medium is one that can be used by anyone and enjoyed by everyone.